Hi guys, welcome to another video on Microsoft OneNote. In this video, we'll see how I have automated my OneNote to archive all my emails, bills, salary slips, all those important stuff. Every month, we get a lot of bills, account statements, invoices in our email, and over a period of time, they get accumulated. And often we forget about them, and when we finally need them, we spend a good amount of time searching for them in our emails and uh, today i'll show how i have automated my onenote and i will be using onenote's send note as email feature to automate the whole process so without further ado let's get started first thing which we need to do is to set up email to onenote so this is the page link to this page will be in the description okay so let us click on set up email to onenote here these are the two email IDs which I have already uh, configured if you need to add uh, another email address we can use the add uh, another address option link here or uh, basically what this does is whatever email which comes from these two email IDs and will be saved into your OneNote. So this is the location where I'll be saving. I have selected email archives, quick notes. I'll quickly save that. The setting has been saved. So let us now open a new tab and let us configure our Outlook to forward emailing. So click on settings. Click on options. Under this we need to uh, create a new we set up a new email forwarding address so click on email forwarding and select forward your mail to another email and type in me at onenote.com so this is the email which uh, onenote accepts we'll click on save now we need to create a rule so that every time my email which comes to outlook through a particular email it gets automatically sent to OneNote so to do that click on my manage rules and we'll click on new so we'll create a new rule here when we say the email matches or uh, here I'll be entering my other email ID so there are different uh, conditions here so I will say when whenever I get an email from this particular email ID do the following right you can add more filters let's say if an email contains an attachment if email comes from this person and also contains an attachment but for this I will not be adding any attachment so let's forward it to me at onenote.com so whenever an email comes from this email id it automatically get formatted to OneNote. you can also add different filters but for this video I'll, i'm just happy with uh, me at just the forwarding filter so this will create a rule now as you can see we have created one rule this you need to do for all other email ids like your salary slip the uh, email from which their salary slip comes or your account statement comes your bank statement comes all that needs to be created in a new rule so now let us try to uh, test this i'll be sending an email through gmail okay so i'll be sending that let us try to enter some text here a sample test this could be any email like for example let's say the company sends you an invoice to your account so as soon as you know you get an email from this particular ID you need to forward it to OneNote so every time uh, the rule triggers the mail will be automatically forwarded to your OneNote and how does that OneNote is configured is through me at onenote.com email ID so every email that is being sent to me at outlook.com will be automatically sent to your OneNote provided you have already configured the email IDs in my case I have set up my Gmail and Outlook only emails from those two email IDs will be going into my OneNote so someone else cannot spam you or fill up your OneNote account so let's click send 
as you can see the email has been sent now yes I have received the email on my outlook so that's the content whatever I sent from my gmail now as soon as I received the email the rule which we had set is already triggered so let us go to OneNote if you remember in my OneNote I had uh, selected email archives as the notebook and quick notes as the section so I'll just uh, sync my digital archive notebook as you can see after the sync has completed my email has reached my one note so every email gets created as new pages I'm not sure why there are two copies of that I will check that out later so now let's say this is your uh, this is a personal email which you are expecting from someone or you like to archive it just create a new section I'll say it as personal emails so now what we need to do is we need to move this uh, note to the personal email section so now the email has been moved as a note right so this is an example of personal email let's say you have you, know, you can create more sections for example your salary slips if you like to archive so every time your company sends uh, your salary slip it will automatically end up in one note because you have configured the rule in one note you can do the same for tax documents also so that's how i do my automation i think that's about it hope you guys found this video helpful if you did please hit that like button and uh, do subscribe to the channel thank you